So you have a five-step plan for optimum penis health. And I was really interested because we're, we're definitely going to talk about the nutrition. I want you to touch on that, but you also had exercises. Tell us a little bit about these five steps. Sure. So um, we can start with exercise. Exercise is good for the body as we know, and whatever is good for your body is good for the penis. The penis is really uh, kind of an early warning signal of if everything is going good in your body or if there is uh, problems afoot because the penis is really sort of this external extension of your circulatory system. It's these chambers that are filled with lots of little blood vessels and the health of your internal circulatory system directly affects the health of the blood flow in the circulatory system of the penis. So when we exercise, we know it's good for our circulation. It's good for our heart to get that blood pumping. It lowers our blood pressure. And it also releases nitric oxide, just the force of the blood pumping through the blood vessels causes the blood vessels release nitric oxide, which is what they need to open up and let that blood flow and to stay young. Uh, nitric oxide has an anti-aging effect on the blood vessels. And so exercise, routine, rigorous exercise, and the more the exercise, actually the, the greater the benefit um, will help preserve the blood flow to the penis and will help keep erections stronger longer as we get older. And then there are certain specific, what I call sex exercises. And that's really the Kegel exercise. I call that a sex exercise because it turns out that the Kegel exercise, which is squeezing those muscles in your pelvis when you're trying not to pee or when you're trying not to have a bowel movement, that squeeze that you make is squeezing these muscles around the base of the penis and around the penis and around the urethra. So it's stopping pee, it's stopping poo, but it also is compressing the base of the penis, which traps blood in the penis. So when a man is having an erection, the erection is because blood is flowing into the penis and then it gets trapped in there temporarily. And when those muscles contract around the base of the penis, it traps that blood even tighter and actually increases the pressure in the erection, making a throb even, and when you have an erection, uh, that's happening involuntarily, but you can actually voluntarily exercise those muscles at other times. And that may help your erections when the time comes, when the situation arises, but you can do those cable exercises in the morning when you're brushing your teeth, uh, when you're sitting in a boring conference uh, and you drive home at night. And it's really just making that squeeze that you would squeeze when you're trying not to pee or poo and holding it for a few moments and then relaxing and then doing it again. And maybe doing that 20, 30, 40 times in a row and maybe doing that two or three times a day. And studies have shown that men who have done very deliberate Kegel exercises with the guidance of a pelvic physical therapist under a clinical trial had improvements in their erections when they had weak erections that were similar to what they had with Viagra. So it really is an interesting sex exercise. And also it's the same muscle that contracts during ejaculation during the uh, you know, cl sexual climax. And for some men, when they do Kegel exercises, it helps them control their climax if they have premature ejaculation, or it helps them enhance their climax if they have difficulty reaching climax or it's not as intense. So a couple of nice benefits. And then in women, that same exercise is routinely recommended to help with urinary continence, to help women from leaking urine when they cough or strain or exercise if they have some laxity down there, say from childbirth or just from, uh, you know, wear and tear of, of, of age and gravity. And I think for sexual pleasure too, the mm. stronger those muscles there, the better the orgasm for the woman. Yes, I think so. And that's, you know, that's that overlap between men and women. Yeah. It's mm. funny because when I, uh, when I read that your book was talking about exercises for the penis, Hey, I didn't, I, I was thinking that it was sort of like you were had to move the penis up and down and left and right. And <laughs> I couldn't figure out what you meant. And right. now I know. Thank you. Well, so, you know, the, the penis itself is not a muscle. It is uh, a bunch of blood vessels inside of uh, chambers that stretch. Right. The muscles are internal in the pelvis at the base of the penis. That's where the muscles are. But the penis itself is not a muscle. Oh. That's great. To, yes, I understand. I think I always thought of it that way, but that's true. And it's a softy. It's not looking super muscly. It's just, yeah, it's just filled with all the vessels that, okay. But it looks just fine, doesn't it? 
She's just fabulous. <laughs> Love it in that state. <laughs> That's right. I have to say, as uh, somebody almost nearing 60, I just don't get this. Uh, what I hear is something that people do, which is send pictures of their penises. If anybody sends, I just do not even my beloved husband. I really don't want to see a picture of it. So I think it's only if you're running for a political office in New York. Otherwise, <laughs> people do like that nothing. still. I don't know. <laughs> so what about nutrition? Where does that come in? So nutrition is also, as we know, critically important to the health of our bodies and to our circulation and therefore to the penis and good, healthy erections. Uh, nutrition provides uh, key molecules that both make the blood vessels healthy, such as nitric oxide and flavones, uh, thousands of different molecules that are found across various different plant-based foods, much more so than are found in animal-based foods. And these different molecules uh, allow for healthy blood vessels. They have anti-aging properties. They have also properties that help heal the blood vessels when they're exposed to toxins, sometimes toxins from other foods, such as high fats or animal products or, or burnt uh, gly uh, glycosylation products, burnt fats and burnt sugars. So these, these nutrients not only help the blood vessels to be healthy, but they also play defense for the blood vessels. And the easiest way to get the most nutrients that are beneficial for your circulation and therefore for your penis and for your sexual health is to eat lots of different plants. And so a plant-based diet that incorporates lots of different plants ensures and when I say plants, I mean vegetables and fruits and nuts and legumes, et cetera. Um, you know, each of these vegetables and fruits, et cetera, has their own combination of, of these uh, nutrients, many of which we haven't even worked out yet, many of which we don't fully understand, but which are good for us. And, and so in order not to miss out, mix and match and eat a lot of different kinds. And uh, that's, that's your most straightforward way to check off that nutrition box. Oh,